Let's face it, Mars is very far away. It's measured at over 140 million miles. For reference, if you're traveling by plane from London to New York, the distance is 3,459 miles, or a total travel time of roughly seven and a half hours. In terms of the amount of time it would take you to reach Mars from Earth, that journey would take you seven to 11 months to complete. But what if I told you that Mars is actually closer than we think? Mars is indeed closer than we think, but this only happens every 26 months. As both planets are spinning in the solar system, there are points in Earth's journey where it is in between the Sun and Mars. When this happens, the distance between the two planets is substantially reduced. In fact, it is only a distance of 33.9 million miles compared to the usual distance of 140 million miles. This reduces our travel time to Mars, and an aircraft could arrive in about five, seven months. Still not quite as fast as taking a trip to the moon, but saving half the time on travel is worth it enough to wait out the period when these two planets are at their closest. Now just because we've figured out the fastest way to get to Mars, it doesn't mean that we should. The planet is extremely dangerous, with high levels of radiation, extreme cold temperatures, and the oxygen levels in the air are non-existent. Figuring out how to get to the destination is one thing, but surviving the harsh environment is something we still haven't managed to deal with. Scientists suggest that preparing the planet by heating it up and melting the polar ice caps would be a start in order to begin the process of hosting human life on the planet. But even if we were to figure out how this would be achieved, it would most likely take dozens or even hundreds of years for it to be effective enough until we can move on to the next step. If you've made it to this point in the video, then comment Mars down below to show your support for the Big Red Planet.